All right, so just finishing up the piston rings on uh, one of my customers. Uh, his name's Patrick. His engine. And doing piston rings is tedious and doesn't make for very good video but I figured I'd do the last piston on this just to you know just to do it for people so this one here the we already went and we just put our oil rings on ahead of time we did them all and we got to put them in the block and check them to make sure they do have gap in there but 99.9% .9 of the time they're going to be they're going to be just fine I have seen it to where I had to cut those before though. So we got our oil rings on. We're gonna take our second ring, which this is a total seal gapless ring. And we're gonna put it on. Let's see here. And this is the, uh, I guess it's an oil control ring that goes for the gapless part of it as well. Get to go on the bottom there. And you just gotta kind of keep working it back and forth, pushing it in and out until it till this oil control ring seats itself on there. And, you know, a lot of people will, uh, they make a big deal about where they stagger the wrist pins or they where they stagger the rings, you know, in, in orientation to the piston. I just stagger them over the wrist pins and leave it. And this has got gapless rings on it, so it don't matter. It's never going to have an open space there. And your your second ring, the rings are either going to have a dot on them. Like this one has a dot. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a dot right there. It's either going to have a dot or a bevel. This top ring has a bevel on it and the part number. So I always put the the dots go up, the bevels go up. And if it doesn't have either one, a dot or a bevel, it don't matter. I've seen that before too. Sometimes if I'm not comfortable with what I did, I'll, I'll keep my ring compressor here and I'll, I'll go ahead and compress it while it's before I even have it on the piston or on the rod, just to kind of help all this stuff seed itself. And that way I know everything's moving nice and I know that this oil control ring is on that second gapless ring and everything's good to go.